Hello, friends. As you can very well tell, I am in my Bill Gates era, or is that Steve Jobs? Which one of which, which, sorry, genuine question, which one of them was the one that always wore the, the uh, you know, the black turtlenecks? I'm missing the turtleneck part, but I think the only thing I remember is the poster of the movie with Michael Fassbender in uh, Steve Jobs or Jobs or whatever the, that movie was called. I just see Michael Fassbender standing there in that black turtleneck. So I'm going to guess it's Jobs. I am in my Steve Jobs era with this outfit. And that is because we are here signifying change a change in the channel, slight, slight little change, not a big deal. This is, I believe, my first show that I'm doing uh, that is not an anime, not particularly an anime, like it is animation, of course, but I do believe it was made by like a, a Western studio, like, I don't know, States or something. I, I don't really know. I could be wrong. I haven't done much research. If I'm wrong, I apologize for that. It's a show that I've been wanting to watch for a while. And like I said, I don't know much about it. I know it is League of Legends. Like it's based off of that. But I I know I've heard that you don't need to know anything about League of Legends to get into it. So that's kind of why it kind of piqued my interest was because it has so much like backstory and lore behind it. Uh, but it's also good for like, you know, beginners who, who just want to watch it. And apparently it's damn good. So that's why it was kind of in my roster of picks. I do apologize to all my fellow anime enjoyers, but do not fear because this is not like, I'm not steering away from anime. It's just, I've been wanting to watch this a bit. I have kind of been wanting to get into a bit more like you know, mainstream sort of stuff like Hollywood. And this is kind of a nice middle ground, I would say. Like it's Netflix. It's a big production studio. Like it's pretty popular, pretty damn popular. And I just kind of wanted to, you know, go into the balance of it, figure it out. If you've been in my channel for a long time, I'm excited for this. I'm excited to get into something that's not like, you know, not anime for once. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm like 99% sure I haven't done anything else. A, like in English or by a Western studio before. So I'm, I'm definitely like keen to try it out. You know, it's going to be weird listening to actual like English <laughs> in the stuff I'm reacting to. I don't, I won't really need to read subtitles, but you know, it's going to be, it's going to take a while to get used to, but we're going to do it. And also if you're new here, I apologize. There's fucking roosters or chickens or something. Usually they go away. <laughs> it's incredibly difficult to edit out of the audio. Uh, so I apologize for that. They just kind of do their thing. So anyway, let's ignore that. We're just going to hop right into it. Episode one of Arcane. Let's go. Netflix shoes. Oh, damn. They got the customized Netflix <laughs> studio logo and everything. Damn. You know, when, you know, something's going to be quality when they change that shit up. Okay. Some sort of, oh, okay, some sort of attack. Oh, I mean, I don't think you had to do him like that, but I have a weird feeling you might not be the good guy. <laughs> Most usually they don't point blank someone's face off with what seems to be incendiary rounds. Yeah, I imagine this was their home probably gotta walk through all that shit damn all of it yeah yeah that's okay you a good guy please yeah I just run uh, well no he seems like he might be all right I guess yeah damn I mean the expressions I can't speak or just doesn't want to? Was that their mom? Parents? Both of them? Oh, uh, so maybe... Mm, maybe they know this guy? Because he immediately knew that that was their parents, right? He looked right to them. Oh, he's dropping his... Oh, yep. Gotta get rid of the weapons, help out the kids, right? Well, yeah, he needs his hands, obviously, to pick him up, but that might have been more of a metaphorical thing. Like, they don't need to see any more bloodshed, right? Literally just saw their parents dead on the ground. Letting them leave? Hmm, okay. Oh. All right. <laughs> yep, I'm just as lost as I figured I would be. <laughs> oh. Okay. 
some Daredevil kind of esque themes. I know there there's like no relation other than Netflix series, but ooh, I'm loving the style though, man. Already the anime. I mean, damn, out of the fucking bat, they had to like prove something. It feels like, man. Look at this shit. Damn, I feel like they were. Casey's okay, so repping a minigun and shit. Okay, no. I do need to pause. I want to talk about it at least a little bit. This is how I do it. If you're new to the channel, I like to pause and talk. If if you want to skip over it, you can. Back to, you know, whenever I start reacting again, you figure it out. I'm not going to do it for you because I like to talk. But no, the style, man. I've, I've seen clips of it, of course. It's not completely new to me. But the animation in this show is just, it's so unique. It, it's sort of, I don't want to be that guy that, you know, relates it to Into the Spider-Verse because Into the Spider-Verse isn't the first one that did some like revolutionary anim animation stuff for, well, the animation genre, but it, it is kind of similar. I don't know if it's like a, uh, just the art style, like the shading maybe that reminds me of it. More of like a illustration type of vibe than I guess, it, I don't know. It's, it's unique and it's awesome is all I want to say. Because even in like their expressions, we, you saw the expression on... I think the the oldest girl's face when she saw her parents dead. I mean, just the grief that struck her, the sadness, of course. But the thing that honestly blew me away a bit was the guy. Because when he was looking down at them, you could see just from his eyes, the sadness. I, like, because he was looking down at these little girls. He already knew there wasn't good news for them. And you could kind of tell that. Just It constantly just blows my mind the amount of detail that they can put into this sort of animation. And whichever studio did this, I, I guess Netflix, <laughs> Netflix Studios, um, they obviously cared about it, man. We're almost there. Okay, nice. We finally got some voice acting. <laughs> I, I did like the effect it had on the intro, but it is nice to get some actual speech every once in a while. Powder. Powder? That's her name? The blue? I think it's... Is it like steampunk vibe they're going for? They killed it, man. The world building. I know it's obviously League of Legends. They already had some stuff to build off of, but I, I respect when they go into this much like artistry. Like even... You got like small ass buildings in the background that like you can't really tell what they are, but... I mean, they still look damn cool. All the airships look sweet, too. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Was that Spider-Man? Yeah, that's gotta be Yuri Lowenthal, right? My boy, Peter. Don't look down when... I mean, we quite literally have to look down, though. That's kind of how it works when you're going below yourself. Okay, they're all pretty agile. No, powder. Okay, yeah. Nice. About halfway there. That's pretty good. Nice. Made it. Ooh, yeah. Okay, I mean, almost. We basically had it. Oh, that sucks. So they're not really okay with touchy-feely stuff. I mean, they are sisters, aren't they? Yeah, they gotta be. They gotta be sisters. I mean, they were both crying at the sight of the parents. It just seems like, I guess, they've grown a bit cold to each other due to the circumstances. Fair enough. <laughs> That's some good advice right there. I'm <laughs> just had enough of your shit already, dude. Interesting. Some sort of engineer. Oh, we're just grabbing everything that looks cool, I guess. Gadgets, trinkets. Yeah, I mean, come on. That's just a, that's just a toy horse. What, what do you need with that thing? Oh, his journal. Maybe. Yeah, that could come in handy. Oh, I mean, who? Well, that's a little suspicious. Who would have left a sandwich? out. Either this guy's still here or he is incredibly disgusting. I mean, his room is a mess, but who the hell leaves a sandwich out and then leaves the house? I don't care if you don't have pets. 
I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what your situation is. If you are making a sandwich or buying a sandwich, putting it on your table and then just leaving it there and like leaving the house, you're fucking nuts. Oh. Okay, what are those things? I I really I wouldn't have picked one up with your hands, but oh. It's coming home. Oh boy. And of course, powder's off on her own. Oh, just grab it. Okay, no, I mean... Oh! Okay, what was that? Did we just set off a bomb that she has like eight more of those in her pocket? No, just get out of that. Oh, oh God, no. Uh, now we just turned into terrorists. That's awesome. Oh man, it's taking everything out. What? Is it like electricity or what the hell is that? Holy fuck, it's taken out like everything it can on its way. Oh boy. Yeah, took, got a little bit more attention than we were wanting. Oh. Damn. Damn. It's like, what is that? Like the Jaws theme song? Dun -dun. <laughs> That's a dope, like alarm. Oh no, oh, I thought they almost got him. Almost. Good thing these police are basically stormtroopers. They can't hit for shit. You got like one weapon that's kind of a pretty like wide range of attack. Still fuck it up. Oh, oh, poor guy. Oh, uh, oh, okay. I hope I hope he's okay, man. He was just doing his job. I'm not gonna fault him for it. Oh, into the sewer. First to go, clear the way for us, buddy. Of course, of course, Violet, the leader, gets to choose to go last. That's cool. We'll take out all the slime for you. That's all right. right under the enforcer's noses. So if you're done beating yourselves up, let's get this home. Okay. Yeah, at least she's pretty positive. I kind of thought she'd give Powder shit for it. And honestly, Powder, like, she probably doesn't know that she did that. She genuinely believes she had nothing to do with that explosion because she didn't know she dropped the thing, right? Someone, uh, someone really kicked the nest, huh? Is that so? Oh, they want in on it. By that I mean they want everything. Just a taste. Oh no, she's gonna beat his ass with that bag. <laughs> you can see it coming a mile away. He's a bit of a dumbass. Oh, come on, leave Lilo alone, man. See how skinny he is? I mean, the guy attacking him is pretty skinny, but at least we got big boy here to back us up. Let's go. Oh, okay, take that punch. No, she can take it like a champ, I'm sure. Ooh, okay, the slow motion. I wonder, is it more complicated to animate something in slow motion? I don't really, I don't know if this is like some sort of mean, is that a door there? Door paved over? Why is she like, her, her mind is like blowing right now. She's like, damn, this is magical. She either hates this shit or she loves it. Oh, come on. You just got your ass kicked and now you're going to go after the girl? I mean, <laughs> that's like pathetic, dude. But no, as I was saying, animating in slow motion, more complicated, easier, same old, like you just animate it like normal time and then slow it down. Or I feel like, no, I feel like you have to add in like more detail, right? When you're doing it in slow motion, like I, every frame kind of has to be perfect because you're focusing on it more. Oh, she's kicking his ass. I like, oh, damn, like. I was gonna say curb stomp, but box stomp, okay. Oh, <laughs> gonna throw some dirt in your eyes. Dirty, I like it. Oh boy, he has a knife, no. Okay, I thought he was gonna attack a Lilo or something, man. Dude, you are done. Just give up, man. You can't even chase him. Like, we could have just left. Yeah. Straight up calling his bluff. That's badass. Yep. I mean, he was pretty stupid for even, like, trying that. He was in no shape to chase us at all. We could have just left his ass behind. Oh, no. First swim. Oh, no. Almost got away. Come on. You got grenades. What is it? Did she just make a grenade out of nails? 
No. Oh. No? She actually just tried to make like a shrapnel grenade. Oh no. I mean, yeah, I no. That's fair. I'm not saying oh no, like because that was bad. I'm saying those like electricity bombs. That's probably not great that they just got like <laughs> yeeted into water. But hey, it might be okay. Matter. The stuff's gone. It's all right, powder. At least you're okay. Yeah. See, at least Vi's nice. Lilo's kind of an ass. Like I understand that it's their livelihood, right? They do this thing probably to survive. They have to steal, sell stuff, make the money. But I mean, she is a little girl. I know she's hardened. So is Vi, so is Lilo, so is the other guy. They've all been through some shit. And I get that there's a whole different set of expectations on those type of people, but you can at least cut her some slack, man. She had like a dude that's, I don't know, looks, could be twice her age for all we know that was chasing after her, wanted to beat her ass to get that shit. Can't really blame her, bro. Uh, she's not like really giving powder the support, right? She's not saying, no, you're wrong. She's just saying, drop it, man. She might not want to, like specifically Vine might not want to take her on any missions because she might believe it herself a little bit. Yeah, cool little underground area. Nice. I'm sure uh, probably some of this stuff is like references to the game, the lore of League of Legends, but I'm sorry that I can't catch too much of it. Oh, we got, what even was that, an elf? No, I wish I could, I, I wish I could. Maybe I need to get into the game, but I don't have years of my life to give up like that. <laughs> I've heard some horror stories, but the world in itself seems damn cool so far, man. You got like this sort of steampunk vibe above ground and then underground, you have this sort of like, is, is it like cyber steampunk? Cause you got a bunch of like neon lights and shit down there. The technology's kind of like, it, it is steampunk, but I don't know how to explain it, but it's cool. You folks need anything? Oh, us. is that you big sure bearded? Ah, uh, there it's you are. Oh, every, oh, so you're Vander. Vander. Okay. I, I was, I was forgetting the name that they called him, but yeah, this is the guy that um, they were saying is going to be pissed if they messed up a job. So get that to look forward to. How about you just give Huck the rest of what you owe him and I'll let you walk out of here in one piece. Poor Huck, man. I like, I like him, man. It seems like Vander has a sort of thing of looking out for the little guy because obviously he took in the girls when they didn't have a parent or any parents anymore. And it seems like he was also taking care of Lilo and the other guy. It seems like he they sort of care about what they he thinks about them as well. Plus, this whole bar has his back, right? Like anything goes down, everyone is fighting for this man. Everyone is, they got his back, dude. So this man has made a reputation for himself. I'm hoping he's a good dude, man. Not some, like, sketchy... He, he seems like he is. He took them in, right? And he's helping out Huck here, who doesn't seem like he's really capable of fighting for himself in this situation. I respect it. Oh, he says, all right. Got some other asses to kick right now. Oh, she's like, no. <laughs> Need to get out of here. Bear. Stick with us. Take a punch or two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, she was trying to protect the stuff, though. Lilo does have a bit of a point, but not a good one. Hmm. Very. What the hell were you thinking? That we can handle a real. Child. Yep. She's the first to fold, man. Says not to tell him immediately. Soon as he like catches whiff of something suspicious. Did you even stop to think about what could have happened to you? Hey? To them? Yeah. He just cares about them, man. He doesn't want to see them hurt. Obviously, they're covered in bruises and shit. Time and time again, the north side's off limits. We stay out of Piltover's business. Why? They've got plenty while we're down here scraping together coins. When did you get so comfortable yeah. living in someone else's shadow? Ooh. Okay. He's like, all right, bitch. <laughs> oh, just, oh, some alone time, huh? Yikes. She thinks she's like 
capable. And she is. I don't want to talk too much shit about her because I don't know if she's the protagonist or what of this show. It, it kind of seems like they're focusing on Powder a little bit as well. I don't know the dynamic that's going in. And I've seen, I believe Powder becomes a bit more of the protagonist because we see her like more grown up in most of the posters and stuff. Plus, it seems it, it, kind of in the OP, they were teasing that they go against each other, like they were fighting each other. So I don't know if she's like protagonist, antagonist or what. But I don't want to say she's not capable. She seems like she's very like she can handle herself, but it's her judgment that needs the work because she does want to just look after herself and her people. But it seems like Vander has more of like an honorable system to it. Like he wants to make a living. Maybe he's done some, I, I could be wrong. Maybe he is a thief. Maybe he likes to like steal from people, but for some reason the North side is off limits. It makes sense. He probably just doesn't want to cause more trouble, right? He probably doesn't want, because obviously the North side, more superior technology wise, more superior weapons wise is what it means. And if you want to go to war with them, you're going to lose, especially, you know, when you live down here. Dive in. You say light a fire, they show up with oil. But whatever happens, it's on you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it has to take responsibility. This, it's not going to solve your problems. It just makes more of them. Yeah. It yeah. Because of what happened in her past, it seems like she's angry. She probably wants to take out some of that anger on the people above ground because I'm betting they had something to do with the attack on, you know, her people, her parents. Uh, so she wants a bit of revenge. So she has all those negative emotions and that's going to cause, like he said, a lot of problems. Oh, you did put that idiot on his ass, though, right? Oh, of course. <laughs> yep. Has to be sure she can, you know, she can, she can take care of herself. Oh, she still has those? All of them or just one of them? Mm -hmm. Just in time to hear the shit talking. Like complain about everything. What? And brag nonstop. Okay, okay. I see where this is going. Take fights with the group when we need to focus. Ooh. My, my problem. Okay, your problem is never knowing when to shut up, but I'm gonna help you with that. Ready? You see this look on my face? This will <laughs> It's time to shut yep, and expect to see that 100% of the time, bitch. See, ah, uh, and Powder had to leave just to miss the good part, man. All she heard was the shit talk. Classic drama. Okay, little engineer, he might be... We, we see a bit of a time jump, so he might be an important player, that little boy. It seems like he's good with the maintenance mechanics. Oh. Oh, did did this kid give him the tip? Oh boy. Yeah. Probably trying to find whoever was responsible, right? Something I can help you with. Some trencher trash attacked one of the buildings in the academy. Trencher trash. Oh. Yeah, so a bit of a superiority thing going on between uh, of course, that's just the normal world building shit that you always have when you have an underground and an overworld sort of deal is overworld typically think they're better than the underworld. That's just how it goes. Just past the average. Listen, you shady son of a bitch. You go for a little walk, Max. Yeah. Okay. Cool out a bit. Mm, see, she's a bit more like respectful, but why do I feel like she's worse? I feel like she might be a bit of a evil personality herself. <laughs> The who? Kermans? Oh, please don't tell me he gives up himself, man. Okay, I mean, she's Okay, she seems okay. I mean, she's trying to do this in a more calm, relaxed way, rather than causing a big stir. He feels like the type of dude that he's going to give himself up just so that nobody else has to go through shit. He, he won't give up any of the kids. You know that from we've already seen how much he cares about them, but it, he's going to have to give up somebody. Otherwise, they're going to come and they're going to want they're, they're just going to punish whoever the hell they want to. Right. You heard them. I'm yeah. not a fighter. You don't have to be. Mm. Look, 
yeah. I mean, honestly, she seems a bit more mechanically inclined, I suppose. Yeah, she's trying. They don't work like she wants them to, but it seems like she does have a sort of... Um, she's much more logical. I, what's the word I'm looking for? I'm not that tight because I can never figure out the fucking words I want. But she's smart, man. She makes these um, these tools and these trinkets that... I mean, she's young. Of course, they don't work yet. But once she gets more years of experience, then she'll probably be able to figure it out while Vi is more a brawler. They sort of even teased that in the OP because we see um, Vi with like the same thing that Vander had in the start, like power fists or whatever they're called, while Powder had like a minigun. <laughs> <laughs> when I was a kid, some guy took my favorite toy and threw it up there. I used to come out here at night and stare at it, hoping maybe the wind or a bird might knock it down. Yeah, but it's still there. We've all had bad days. But we learn. Oh, I forgot. Mm, it's a nice dynamic they have, man. She has all of them. Oh, God. I don't know. Should we show Vander? No. Yeah, definitely not. He doesn't want us connected to that shit at all. And one day, this city's gonna respect us. Hmm. See, that's that's why I'm thinking she might be the antagonist, because Powder seems more like a little more. Oh, she's a kid right now, but I feel like she's a bit more wholesome. Of a character than Vi. Vi's she was old enough to see the horrors of war and it sticks with her, right? Okay, I'll finish. Oh god. This kid being an oh damn, maybe he should have done that knife fight. Maybe it would have been a nicer end to him. Oh god. Did he just inject something into his eye? That's already horrifying. Our timeline has moved up. This man is quite horrifying, I just want to say. Why do I feel like the cat's going to die in this situation? They were feeding the mouse. Yeah, he has water there. Uh, that's purple. Oh, no. I don't want to see the cat. Don't kill the cat, please. Is it delicious? Bro's like, damn, this is the most. This is fucking exquisite. Oh, no, never mind. He doesn't like it too much anymore. I know. Yeah, get the cat out of there. I mean, come on, you ass. That's how you know they're a villain when he kills a fucking cat as a test. So. Okay. I'm a little pissed off about the cat. I'm not going to lie. Boom. I got gotcha. you. I saw the flinch. I saw the flinch. No, don't. Don't you try to deny it. I saw that. I saw it. Yeah. Go to the bathroom if you have to. Come back. Continue the video. So, the reason that I am here, indifferent to tire, maybe slightly, I, I don't know. Can you tell the beard grew a little bit? This is Mark from the next day. What happened was I had somewhere to be, so I kind of felt like I, I, I did an outro, but I felt like I rushed it a little bit. I didn't do enough discussing of what I wanted to do. So I'm here. I wanted to, you know, give this show the attention that it deserves because episode one was incredible, man. It was absolutely insane. I, I thought about leaving in the outro from yesterday and then just adding on to it, but I think I just kind of want to like start it completely again. I want to do, I want to say what I want to say, not like a, a thousand words a minute <laughs> you know that sort of thing so yeah no that episode man as i said the cat pissed me off i could have done without that scene but it did an excellent job of showing that the villain is in fact the villain because i mean anybody I, i've been reading up on like how to do story like how to do writing screenplay writing and i'm sorry this doesn't have a whole lot to do with the actual show it's just a fun fact that i kind of had is the um the book save the cat which says if you want people to know who your protagonist is or you want them to cheer for them you have them save the cat or you know something along those lines of making them look like a good person that sort of thing and it actually works quite well literally with the opposite effect you have someone kill a cat 
no, they're a piece of shit. <laughs> they deserve to die. No, that is good job. Good job. They knew they didn't want anyone stressed and they weren't like, no, this is not mixed. This guy is an ass. That's all it is. So no, obviously he's a villain. He seems like he's going to be problematic. Um, but other than that, man, like we don't know much about him so far. So I won't focus on that too much. I, what I do want to focus on is the characters. It seems like the characters are definitely the strong suit of the show so far. That and the animation. Both of those are definitely like the strongest combo of what makes this show show uh, or this episode at least like appealing and kind of addicting in a way because I, I, as i've been sitting with this for a day i just want to watch it i just want to watch the next episode already and it sucks because i like to you know pace these things or i have to because i don't really have the time to record full episodes edit full episodes all the time but it's so with a show like this it's just so hard man because you have these characters like uh powder vi um vasper what, what was his name vasper I'm, I'm sort of the thing is i want to call him casper but if i know that's not it vander that's what it was they were all like good characters that you kind of want to root for vi she's a little more um she, she's kind of on a scale well not a scale the edge it feels like she could tip either way and i haven't been spoiled with the show but i do know that i i think they teased it in like the op and everything already they showed her and powder fighting like about to start throwing punches and shooting each other with a minigun that sort of thing so it seems like maybe vi is going to go into a bit more of a enemy territory and they sort of maybe teased that with her last line of this episode when she was talking to powder of saying like Oh, this city. Oh, I forget it, man. I forget. What it <laughs> I already forget what she said, but it was very like suspicious kind of um, it, it had a bit of a dark tone to it. She I think it was like this city will understand like what we've been through or something like that. Or they they'll stop treating us like shit. It wasn't really a nice something that a hero would kind of say the the protagonist it, sound, it sounded more a little bit diabolical so it seems like maybe she's gonna go into more darker territory and that's what it feels like because she's much more into the fighting and the thievery aspect of this life that her and powder were thrown into they each kind of like powder is trying to be more like her sister she wants to be like a good thief she wants to be a good fighter but kind of every time she tries to it sounds like she messes up and that's probably a good thing because her strengths lie elsewhere, right? It seems like she's more of the engineer, inventor. She has those little like cat grenade bombs. She has her new one called Whiskers. Uh, it seems like she's just, she's trying, she's learning. Um, none of those devices seem to work so far, but I mean, she has time. She has plenty of time to work on it. And that will probably be her strength. She seems more, you know, intelligent intellectual that sort of person or just naturally inclined towards mechanics where obviously people like Vi are more naturally inclined to just violence fighting uh that's just what they're good at and it makes sense the way they grew up because Vi she was the older sibling she took a lot more responsibility on her shoulders even though they had Vander she probably felt like she had to pull her part plus everything she experienced with her parents at least Powder like she I think Powder remembers it because she wasn't super young I think she was probably like three or four um while Vi was like maybe seven or eight something around those age ranges when they saw her parents dead when there was that attack and vander took them in so i think vi remembers it more remembers more of like the horrors that she saw and she has to deal with that mentally and that's giving her sort of an anger that is ticking her off that's causing her to go into this violence and thievery and she has a little bit of disdain for the the overworld i'm forgetting the terminology that they called like the overworld and the underworld it's not I, it definitely wasn't that but it was the people up top she's not a fan of or the people north or whatever they call them man just she's not a fan of they think they're better than us that sort of mindset i did like the world building because with vander and that female police officer i forget was it Grayson or something it actually shows that each side like there is people on each side that don't want that violence it's not just a black and white like oh us versus them thing there are certain people who they don't want any more bloodshed if they don't need there to be they don't want to fight they want to avoid it and I'm a little bit worried about Vander for that because I like I said I feel like he is going to maybe sacrifice himself because Grayson said we need somebody to take the fall for this. Otherwise, more people are going to suffer, like more 
troops are going to march into this town and try to find the culprit and probably do more damage than necessary. Uh, just because, I mean, we saw how her partner acted, right? He just straight up hated Vander. Dis didn't even know the guy. Didn't, didn't know him. Just immediately acted like he was filth, like under his boot, that sort of thing. So that's how probably most people act. Most of the police officers, the enforcers act. So they don't want that. But I mean, it seems like that's going to be the case if Vander doesn't give somebody up or give himself up. I feel like that might, that that's the most obvious option because he doesn't want to do anything to hurt the kids. He doesn't want anybody else to suffer. He wants, he, he's taking on the responsibility of these people, just like he took on the responsibility of Vi and Powder when they were kids, right? So I respect him, man. I respect Vander too. But as I was saying, Powder and Vi, their relationship is complex. And obviously Vi, she's a bit more of the, you know, took more responsibility that kind of had its effect on her. I'm interested to see where her arc goes because I don't know if they turn her into the antagonist or if she's maybe just this sort of gray area where she's not bad, but she's she also does questionable things. I feel like Powder, she might be more protagonist material because she seems more good hearted, you know, while Vi, she's a bit more in the middle you know she she can do some messed up stuff probably we haven't seen a whole lot that she does but I, i'm just getting that vibe from her that sort of like delinquent vibe i guess i don't want to be mean she's been through a lot but that's just the vibe that's just what's coming to mind here uh but no like i said vander awesome vi intriguing character for sure powder she has promise um the side characters like milo tiger um the one little the little boy who is like fixing the clock I, I didn't quite catch his name but he seems like he might be an important player too because he was doing like spying he actually gave us the hint for that apartment so he might play a role kind of in the future when they grow up and we get to that point but i do just want to quick say the animation i know i talk good about it already but it is stellar man it's sort of like a mix of i'd say spider-verse I mean, it came before it, but Puss in Boots, The Last Wish, like that sort of more animation studios, it feels like they're really experimenting with making something that is unique. Like, cause that is just the one word you could use to describe this art style is unique. I don't think I've ever really seen it like in this effect in any other project before. I, I don't know if it's sort of the style of League of Legends or if League of Legends like implemented it with this show and then took it over and started using it i don't know what the plan was but either way they they used it uh and to the best of their damn ability every single frame looks beautiful and i am stupidly impressed with the animators the artists anybody who worked on that stuff man it's just crazy how each frame is like just beautiful dude it's it's like you could straight up stop on basically any frame and it would be a cool background of cool wallpaper for your laptop or phone or whatever man they they put in the work on that shit dude nothing looked cheap nothing it didn't look like they really cut any corners if they did they hit it super well i'm very impressed with this show man i am so happy about it um i knew it was gonna be good i didn't think i'd really be like this hooked on it because you know league of legends i as i said i never got into it i'm not too interested in the world building but i definitely am it's got vibes of other things I've watched in the past, none of which come to mind right now because that's just how my brain works. So I look like an idiot, but no, it does give me vibes of stuff, but it feels unique in its own way. Like all the machinery, the the technology they have, the different trinkets and stuff that get thrown around. It's kind of like that steampunk vibe, like I said, but it's, I don't know, it has its own sort of like feel to it that just kind of this show, it makes me appreciate this show more because it feels like it, it unique. It feels more unique, right? But no, man, I had a great time with that show. I enjoyed all the characters. Vander, I think might be my favorite so far, just because he was like this hardened dude who we saw him like beating ass in the first, in the intro. He was throwing that guard or that thief or whoever that was he was fighting to the ground and just pounding with those like metal fist things and then he took in the kids and he sort of took on the responsibility and it feels like he took that shit seriously dude i don't know if he knew vi and powder before that or if he that was his first time meeting them and he immediately took them in because he saw like 
their parents, knew they were dead, knew they had nobody else. So he just took him in. And now it feels like he's sort of, I don't know, the leader of this whole little town. So it, it feels like Vasper, he's kind of a cool dude, uh, just wants the best for his people. And he doesn't even want to really hurt the other people, the Northerners, even though they're probably responsible for what happened in the intro. It seems like he just kind of wants to mind his own business. And that could be argued that might be, I don't know if that's for the best because you're kind of letting these people just walk over you that sort of thing but he's more interested in survival not everybody wants to rebel not everybody wants to like make a huge change in the world they just want to survive and they want the best for their people and that's what vander wants and i respect that so he's definitely my favorite so far but the rest i feel like powder could get there by she's as i said intriguing um but other than that though man i think that's it. all i want to say i just wanted to kind of get into that get more into the characters because as i said my intro or my outro before i was rushed i kind of sped through everything i didn't even really talk about vander too much so that's why i felt like i needed to you know get in here to show show my man some respect um and the animation because it was incredible too and that's kind of it though man like I'm I'm definitely watching the at least episode two. I would love to do it today, but I don't think I can just because I want to edit this video. I, want, I still have a free run episode to edit that I recorded like last week. I've sort of been falling behind a little bit on my stuff. I apologize for that. I'm going to try to get more into it. I'm sort of you know, little, little, you know, taken to my life here. I am trying to figure out work, like trying to get a job, trying to improve my skills. So my time, like my schedule, is a little bit, you know, it's, I'm trying to figure out the best schedule to do like YouTube and stuff because I do make money from YouTube, just not enough to survive, you know? So, <laughs> so if you guys notice my schedule, like is a little bit off or just slow, I do apologize for that. I am trying to get stuff out for you guys too. I would love to be able to do like three, four shows, but I just can't yet. I'm going to try to, I want to do like Bungo Stray Dogs. I want to do movies like Hollywood type movies too. Interstellar has been on my list for forever. Like seriously, two years. I've been wanting to watch that movie, but it's three hours, bro. Thinking of having to record for three hours, it's longer, and then I would have to edit that. Oh man, it's rough. I, I Just anyway, you guys, I, I don't know. I'm just kind of ranting at this point, getting it out. So no, great episode though. <laughs> back to Arcade, fantastic episode. I will be back with episode two, of course, probably next week, I think, because I already want to watch it, um, but that's it. So if you enjoyed, please be sure to drop a like, subscribe to the channel to stay updated on Arcane episodes or Free Run, the other series I'm currently doing, or maybe other stuff. I, I kind of started Jujutsu Kaisen, but then, you know, it got spoiled for me, so I just haven't gotten picked up on it again. So we'll see with that one, but other stuff will be coming at some point. So yeah, I mean, Patreon down in the description too, if you want to support me a bit more early access to my videos, this helps to support me and that's appreciated for sure. They am appreciated. And that's it. So I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll talk to you all later. Peace.